All right, uh, my name's Alex. I play guitar and lurk, and today we're going to go over my uh, rig rundown, I guess. Oh, we're right uh, on tour right now with Waster, Hot Mulligan, and Grayscale. Uh, started off in like late January through the end of February, so we're about halfway through back home for a few days, which is cool. So, uh, I guess we start at the front of the chain. Uh, I got a 2007 uh, Tele, made in Mexico Telecaster. Uh, Dad got it for me back like freshman year, one of my first guitars. So this was like my guitar all through high school. I uh, kind of like sat in my basement for a long time. I was using, I'm usually like a Les Paul Marshall guy, but for that, it's like it's too heavy for what we're trying to do in Lurk, so I need to kind of dial it back. So uh, it was pretty much stock for a long time. Uh, just started off with all white, white pick guard, white body, stock pickups. Uh, I put a red or like a maroon tortoise on there for a while, and I actually just switched it over to a black. I think it looks a little better, a little bit more classic. Uh, pretty much other than that, the only difference I did is I put a Seymour Duncan hot stack. Uh, it's a rail pickup. Uh, it's great because it's noiseless. A lot of single coil pickups, as most people know, are super noisy. I do have a decimator just to cut out noise, but with this, honestly, I don't need it. Um, it's great. It's a little hotter than like a normal tele pickup. They also have the hot rails, which is pretty big, but it's just that's a little too, I think it's like a ceramic pickup on that, so it's just like a little too meaty for what we're doing. So this still sounds like a tele pickup, just cuts the noise out and a little bit more warmth on it. So I, I go completely wide open. Uh, I pretty much just use the bridge pickup the whole time. Um, picks, what am I using? I don't know if I have any picks on me. I do. I use these green star picks. I was playing bass for a while and I was constantly dropping picks, so this is super nice that you can just hold on to it. Uh, and then 10 to 52 Ernie Balls. I think it's the skinny top heavy bottoms. So that's that, pretty easy. And then uh, Dunlop strap buttons. So pretty cool. All right, so what we're doing is we're just gonna go through the poly tune. I really like this tuner. Uh, that's pretty much the only one I ever had. You can actually like, tune all strings at once. You could just strum the whole thing and tune it, which is really nice. Uh, then we're going through a super chorus. Uh, I'm actually not an original member of the band, so the first two releases were pretty much like Fender Strat through a Sun Amp, which I'm using on stage, uh, and there was like some chorus going on, so I tried to like replicate those tones through this. Oh, this is actually our singer, so was sitting over there, Kev, so he hooked me up with this. Uh, pretty much keep it just like this. I think he said the settings are pretty much just like that, so I just try to replicate the record sounds like that. Uh, into the decimator, uh, like I said, I'm not really needing to use it right now just because I'm not using like a crazy high gain amp, but it's there if I need it or if I use another guitar. Uh, then we're going into the uh, Eddie Van Halen MXR Phase 90. I grew up a big Van Halen fan, so I just wanted that, wanted that sound. I'll, I'll kick it on for solos if I need it. Just gives it like a little bit of a treble boost. And I, I read in an interview that he puts his setting right there. I think, what is that, about like 10, 11 o'clock, so I, you know, Props that I do that, uh, and then we do a two amp setup. Um, we do a Sun, a 1970 uh, 1000 S, but it was actually made in 1969. We opened the back and found a sticker on it, so it's like a huge Doom amp. But for us, it's great. It's just like a big, clean, single channel amp. And then I run uh, one side out of the Tube Screamer to give that head gain, and then I use this AB switch, and then I split it to a Fender Blues Deville. Um, on the Electroshock record, it's a very clean, twangy sound. Um, I don't know what I would compare it to, kind of like an old, like, surfy kind of Dick Dale kind of sound. So we split it out of that. I'll usually just kick it off, and if I'm doing, like, a lead riff, I'll do just the Fender amp, and then I'll kick them both on for the rhythm stuff just to give it some, some hair to it, so. With the Sun, uh, it's really a bassy head already, so I just, I kind of keep that at five, and I bring the treble up. I keep all the reverbs off. I don't need that. Um, it's very loud, so I can really only keep it at, like, three o'clock, um, or level three on the volume, I guess, so that's pretty much there. On um, the tweet, I really crank up the treble on it, like I max the presence out, which is probably too ice picky for people, but it's it's good for us with the blend. Um, reverb off, bass about 12 o'clock, treble up, volume at three or four, so yeah. You kind of have to really push that head to get some good breakup on it, so it's like a really good mix. You got this like really kind of spanky, trebly sound with the Fender, and then it's just meaty, girthy tone with the Sun, so. It's really cool. And then cab wise, uh, using a tyrant tone. Oh, no, dictator. Dictator. Dictator cab 4x12. It's got uh, four Weber 12 inch speakers in it. Uh, dictator was, I think, like a cross shoot with Emperor cabs. Yeah, it was right? the guy from Emperor. Um, that, this is his cab. So we'll yeah, it's, it's, it, sorry. It, it's some, I heard that it's like the guy from Emperor. Uh, yeah. It was like a partnership, and the guy left, started Dictator, which is now Tyrant, I believe. So it's like an Emperor. So, yeah. 
very low end. Yeah, no wheels on it. We keep it just flat on the stage for a lot of that low end. So things, thing rumbles. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, we have three releases out. We have a demo, a uh, 7-inch called Hi-Fi, which was released on Undertone about a year or so ago. And then Electroshock, which was our first pure noise release. Um, that's out now. Uh, you can find us at Lurk underscore USA on Instagram and on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, all over Spotify, Apple Music, Bandcamp. Deezer, I think, is like another one that they use over in Europe, I saw. Deezer. If you could use that if, if you're over there. Um, next show we have, after this tour, we're, we're home for a few days, and then we're going to move out east to finish up the tour with Grayscale. Uh, we're doing a show at the Metro on March 12th. It's part of the 312 Goose Island Brewing thing. So we're playing with, uh, who are we playing with? High Priest, High Priest, Guerrilla Warfare, Nothing, Us, and Every Time I Die. So really stoked about that. And then, yeah, we're as soon as we get back, uh, I think March 22nd, we're going to start recording our full length. Uh, we record with Andy Nelson at Bricktop. He did Weekend Nachos and Harm's Way and Never Ending Game and True Love and stuff like that. So he's our he's our like fifth member. So yeah.